Hi guys! This is going to be my what's in my hospital bag video. Um, this is my hospital bag. It's just got a zipper. A couple of things that I'm going to start off with that are not in yet. I'm not going to pack them until last minute. My cell phone charger, my laptop with that charger, um, <clears throat> my husband will pack his camera, um, with extra batteries. His camera's old, like, you ha have to put, like, AA batteries. Uh, this camera, obviously, um, with the charger. I already have the charger in there. Um, and, yeah, I think, oh, and I have to pick up a bottle, a little bottle of olive or mineral oil, um, for when the baby's crowning and stuff. Uh, my doula suggested that I bring my own just in case. Um, oh, I'm sorry. And my iPad and my iPad charger. Um, anyway, so packed is my toothbrush, some toothpaste, and some lotion. I don't normally use a lot of lotion, um, and so I have like turtle hands, like wrinkly hands, um, but this is just in case because I know hospitals are dry. I am not bringing my own shampoo, conditioner, face lotion, because I just don't care. Uh, at that point, I'm not even going to care. Um, um, you know, I actually, I might, ha I have a little travel bottle of Clinique face lotion. I might bring that. I might add that. Um, I'm going to bring, this is my iPod. And that will work with the, with the same charger. Um, oh no, it won't. Um, I'll have to bring a charger for this too. So my I I don't have anything specifically like I don't have like a birth playlist on there, but it has a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of songs. So um, these are little socks with grippers on them for walking the halls. So I'm gonna bring those. Um, I am bringing a labor snack, which is um, dry roasted peanuts, and everybody talks about honey sticks. I don't have time to go out and look for honey sticks, so I'm bringing a jar of honey. <laughs> I figure we can get a plastic spoon, and if so, I'll just drink it right from the bottle. So this is just to have a little bursts of energy during labor if I need it. Um, I am bringing Boy or Girl. <laughs> these are what I found. Um, these are, I think, socks. But we use them with my daughter uh, for, as mittens. So just little mittens <laughs> if we need them. Um, chapstick. Um, two hair ties, because my hair will start to annoy me. Um, I have anxiety um, every once in a while. And since I don't have it bad enough to take medication for it, especially when pregnant, this stuff is called Rescue Remedy, and it's awesome. Um, so just in case I start to get anxious during labor, I have that. And that's all I have in those pouches. Oh yeah, that's my camera charger. I highly, highly, highly doubt I will be using these, but I want to bring them just in case to have them. Um, the first cloth diaper that this baby will wear, boy or girl, is this extra small little shamrock, little clovers. I love, love, love this diaper. Um, and it's just a little teeny tiny one. And then that won't be until, like, the ride home. Um, and then it's a boy. This is the boy diaper. It's a little extra small little, um, dinosaur diaper in case, or when, I should say, when they pee or poop in the shamrock diaper. And then in this, I have an extra small little size Snow White diaper for a girl. And again, I don't care if a boy wears this, I don't care. My daughter wears, I have this in a one size for my daughter. Um, I don't care about gender, but I just thought it might be cute just for the going home. I also have a sheet of fabric softener to keep all of this smelling. 
nice until I go to the hospital. <laughs> um, I am bringing a Aiden and an Anise, Aiden and Anise, I don't know, swaddle blanket. It's got little lions on it. Uh, for the baby, I will bringing, be bringing, um, just in case I didn't want to wear the hospital stuff or it's cold, so this is just an extra little outfit. And then I have the coming home outfit for a girl and for a boy. So these are just little newborn size. And then if for some reason in Southern California it's really, really hot that day, I have just a onesie. So, um, And then I also packed a bunch of little hats because the hospital hats are always so scratchy. So I have those. Um, and then for me, I just have a pair of just my regular socks that I wear. Um, a nursing bra. I don't normally wear. It's like this, it fits really odd, but right after I have the baby and then right when my milk comes in when my boobs are gigantic, that that's when this one fits really well. Um, and then just a pair of like yoga stretch capri pants except for they go about two inches above my ankles because I'm so short so they're not really capri length on me and then just a shirt and these are obviously just for the day that I go home and that's it that's all I'm I have packed um, in my hospital bag because again I've, I've done this rodeo twice you bring a bunch of crap you don't need you don't end up using it and I don't want to lug it um, I will probably bring, I mean, I will definitely bring my exercise birth ball. Um, and then my doula has, like, essential oils and um, all the stuff that I will need while I'm laboring. So, yeah. I hope I didn't forget anything major. Oh, one more thing I will be grabbing is I'm going to get from Target just a new p pack of, like, Hanes, um granny panties for the afterbirth when that happens so yeah so that is what's going to be in my hospital bag i will talk to you guys in my next video bye